Hi there, I'm Ross Woodfield. Welcome to Blackhawk Global's Daily Market Update. Starting off in Japan and the yen has managed to strengthen against the USD over the last 24 hours despite the bullish dollar. The Bank of Japan announced no change to monetary policy yesterday and remained upbeat about their economic outlook. This is a little surprising given the near zero inflation and the deteriorating manufacturing figures over the last few weeks. Nevertheless, the yen continued to strengthen today as the account surplus came in higher than expected and a poor, uh, however, a poor manufacturing order result of negative 5.7% month on month kept the yen's gains limited. And turning now to the cable and it's charged higher, smashing through that important level of resistance at 1.5240 which we identified yesterday. This uh, will likely lead to a reversal of the previous bearish trend and we should see the, the uh, sentiment in the cable remain bullish for the short term. UK industrial production figures returned a respectable 0.5% month on month, well up on the previous negative 0.8%. The UK GDP estimate for the last three months also returned a solid result at half a, half a percent growth. Keep an eye on the cable for volatility as the Bank of England meets later on tonight to set monetary policy. And taking a look at oil now and it's retreated after a solid shift high yesterday. There was some bullish news out yesterday as Russia said it wanted to meet with other oil producing producers to support long term prices. This gave the market hope that supply might be restricted, but those hopes were dashed today as the official EIA figures showed a solid inventory build. US crude inventories jumped by 3.07 million barrels, which came on the back of a 4 million barrel build from last week. And finally today our analyst pick is gold. The precious metal has found some solid uh, resistance right on the current bearish trend line. We've just seen a small rejection off it and further solid falls are likely to follow. We'll be looking for gold to hit the $1,100 an ounce level over the next few days. And that's all we have time for today. For Blackwell Global, I'm Ross Woodfield. Thanks for watching.